don't think any of us have ever attended uh, a church no. that was this big. No. Avalon was four or five hundred maybe. And you think where we are now, where we are number wise, thirty five hundred, four thousand, whatever it is, you know how much we've grown. Uh, I'm Don Nichols. Um, my wife and I, Sue Ann, we have been here since the church began. My name is Ben. My name is Tegan. And we've been attending Pathway for 16 years. We were living on the north side of town and we were going to Avalon Missionary at that time. And because it was across town, it made it very difficult to have relationships here and invite people to church across town. So we, because of Jeff Getz, I would say, and the other four couples that were with us at that time, um, chose to see if we could plant a church. And praying very specifically for things that we needed here at Pathway and just thinking it was just way over our head. But um, every prayer has been answered. At that time, all of our kids, all the <laughs> other four families, we had really young kids. And uh, so obviously that was a part of our prayer, uh, that we would have a great kids ministry. and. Kevin came along and left a great paying job and um, to be a part of that and, and to lead kids ministry where it is today. Um, for me, it, it's hard to remember like the time that was spent at Carroll High School, but I do remember the first time I came to Pathways New Building when we met as like in our grades and then we finally all came to the group together in the big main room and they had that new Kid City set um, with all the cool colors and everybody would go up there on, and act in front of the whole group and it was just a really cool experience. Well, for me, one of the first things that I got plugged in here was when we had the hot chocolate bar upstairs and some of my friends and I, we used to serve hot chocolate on Sundays. And then we both also spent some time leading fifth grade small groups, going on trips. We're in a life group now that's been going really well. Yeah. So set up and tear down. We've worked in the kids ministry in all areas, whether it's in the classroom or now with guest services. Both of us, we actually took the opportunity to start leading in fifth grade uh, called Project 5. Sound booth, um, back in the beginning when we were at Carroll Middle even, uh, and then here. Even more recently, I just started leading sixth grade boys in Impulse. We enjoy being outside, so we plugged into the garden this year, and that's been great to meet so many new people. It removes the focus on oneself to others. I'd say as far as my friends go, I've gotten all of my best friends from church. Um, when I was growing up, I probably went on every middle school and high school retreat that I could go on, and the friends that I have from those trips are still the friends I have today. And then we recently got plugged into life groups a little over a year ago. And now like some of our new best friends are from that life group. You know, how do you, how do you plan Blake Schumacher, um, Ben Schwartz becoming our son Keegan's best friends? You know, they were just munchkins. You know, you don't, we just don't think that far down the road to see how the, their friendships are going, going to evolve at that point. And uh, it was just so, it's so cool now to look back and think we never could have imagined that. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Thank you for being a church that preaches the word, that gets us into it, that helps us look outside of ourselves, um, into the needs, um, that challenges us to step into things, uh, maybe that aren't always comfortable, but um, will have a lasting impression. I guess for me it'd be that thank you for the opportunity to have the relationships we've had here that have allowed us to be involved in you know, a variety of ministries, uh, to be able to have relationships in the church, which have actually allowed us to have relationships outside of the church because of people we've met here and the things we've been able to do here. Things that, again, we never could have imagined when we were thinking about starting a church, planting a church. I think for me, the biggest impact would be the people around me that Pathway has given me. If, if I could say anything to the church, the body, it would be to get involved in some sort of life group and mm -hmm. just get to know the other people that are coming to church. Um, we took that chance almost two years ago, a year and a half ago, and it has been the biggest payoff ever. We have some new best friends now, and we love them. We see them all the time, mm -hmm. and I'm really happy that we did it. Looking down the road 20 years, I hope that when people walk into Pathway, they feel seen, they feel loved and accepted, um, that they'll hear the truth, and that it'll make a difference in their life.